What's up guys, it is uh, Sunday the 14th of January 2018. I'm on my way to South London for uh, Millwall Ladies versus Tottenham Ladies in the uh, WSL 2. Uh, I have got my chauffeur with me today, Hi. Daisy Jenkins. Uh, what's your score prediction for today? Uh, I think 2-1 Millwall and Brooksy to score in the new boots. <laughs> Happy six months! <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go with a Millwall win today as well. I think um, I've seen Tottenham play, they're a good team, but I think Millwall are just going to edge it. So, uh, alright, let's um, find the ground then. <laughs> No cheeseburgers, but I have got a tasted cheese sandwich which isn't quite melted, it's like a warm cheese sandwich, but still a bit different. Referee's just about to get the game underway. I should really plug my microphone in, but I'm going to get all tangled up. I'm trying to take photographs today as well. Got the Nikon D850 and 70-22 f2.8. Try and get some nice photographs today if we can. 1-0 to Millwall. I don't know who this bug score was. That was a great head up from a, a free kick on the right hand side. Half time here at wherever we are. Where are we? In like St Paul's something, South London. Uh, Millwall 1, Tottenham 0. It's not been a bad game so far, it's been quite scrappy, um, but good chances for mainly for Millwall. Um, a lot of action going on just in front of us here uh, between Neville, I think, Tottenham left back, and um, Megan Wynn on the right wing. Uh, it's been good, good action so far. So hopefully, second half will produce a couple more goals. Vimto, mini Vimto, mini Vimto, mini mini Vimto. Second half just started. We've um, moved around to the other side of the ground now, so you can take a look at the stadium in all its glory. Is the equaliser for Tottenham now one all? Um, great little um, volley from Sarah Wilshire. To the second half, it's getting very cold here now. Um, I think one all is still probably a fair result. Uh, both teams have had a few opportunities, but most of the battling is taking place in the middle of the field. Absolutely brilliant goal by um, Millwall just now. I'm not sure who the goal scorer was again, but proper top right hand corner. Fair play. 2 1 to Millwall. 3 1 Millwall. All over, another great strike um, from the person that scored the last goal. I don't think I can feel my toes anymore. <laughs> There's about two minutes left of the game, just walking around to the other side. Been a good game though. 3-1 uh, to Millwall so far. One to Millwall, and that was the last kick of the game. Good result for them. I think both teams were very evenly matched, but Millwall just got the um, the firepower up front that I think Tottenham are, are lacking at the moment. As much as I like Sarah Wilshere, I think she needs a little bit more help. Maybe a little bit of a pain in the ass to get to this ground, but if you don't live around here, then you sort of appreciate this kind of view a little bit more. I think Canary Wharf. In the background. 
Right, back in the car now. We've um, got the heaters on full blast, although you can't hear it. Um, trying to warm up a little bit. Good game in the end. I enjoyed that. Uh, my players of the match, I think, would be um, Megan Wynn for Millwall and, I don't know the name yet, um, blonde midfielder as well. She was very impressive. Um, for Tottenham, probably Neville, I think, le le was left back or wing back, left wing back. She um, she was very impressive as well. So, but um, a lot of lot of good players on both teams. It was a really enjoyable match. Um, not sure what I'm going to be recording next. But if you enjoyed the video anyway, thank you very much. Um, give it a thumbs up and please click on the subscribe button. Say goodbye to Daisy. See ya. And we'll catch you later.